It is only 2 o'clock and it's already dark. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have the best lightning. Oh, this is why I don't like winter. Okay. Um, yeah. Shaping the petals. Here we go. One. The first three were just like two. Cut them just like this. I'm just using my... Um, how do you call that? Make sure this is the first, oh wait, the first three, yeah. And make sure this is at the back, okay? Depending, okay, wait, no, let's do this. If you're making for the wreath, the strip has to be at the back because it's going to be positioned like this and then you won't see it, right? If you're making the, um... For a bouquet, then it, this has to be in the front, so you won't at the side you won't see it's a bouquet. Okay, so that's that. This is for for the bouquet, so we're gonna do that front. So we have three first, the power of three, right? Remember, three you like that. Gonna curl um, this bit just like this. Shape it, and again, when using cardstock, might need to use some pressure because this is harder to do. But look at me doing it very easy. So, if you're not convinced yet of using sketching paper, then uh, I don't know. <laughs> one side and then the other side there okay and then we're gonna half of the petal do you see half of the the there just gonna bend it bend it like that straight not too much I have to lift it sometimes, position it. See, this is too much, so I'm just pushing it back. See? So that's the first three. Put that apart. Oh no, my good. Nice. The next three. And I actually had original, it's like you had blooming one and open one and I'm just gonna do one and then that's that's it. Just gonna do one. Okay for both from now on doesn't matter if you do the bouquet or whatever just gonna do the make sure that the thing is at the back. So the only the strip. And if you really 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 don't like the wires to see or whatever you can paint it like with with white or you know, you can do that too. No one show. So that's the first three. Not too much. So and then we're gonna shape this little piece as well. Like that. Oh no, this is the other piece, sorry. Just pre-shaping it, just when attaching it, you will see that we have to shape it again and again, half there, and this will be more more at the back, that's fine, right? This is that's okay because it's gonna be it's gonna be open. If you would like a close one, then you do all this, just this. And then the last, maybe. Oh, wait, I've done this one. Oh. Oh, I done it. You can do that, you can cup it. 
I'm not using the I would have used like normally to shape it um, a clear plastic refillable thingy thingy Christmas ornament but I'm gonna skip that part and just do this very simple so everyone can do it and you won't have to buy it so everyone can make it For the last one, I'm going to curl it more, accentually exaggerate the curl. And then one goes, two goes like this, okay? And the last one goes inside. So the petals. The strip will be in the inside. See? Not the back. Because this will be the back. Okay? Uh, I think I did that wrong. Oh, yeah, no, I did that wrong. That's okay. So, um, and then again, half. Bend it. See? And then this is like really. o'clock just like that so we have first three second layer third layer now for the second layer what I like to do I'm going to show you how is just use my fingers here this is the back of the petal and just shape it like that See, put your index here, the center, and then use your middle finger and your thumb and then pull it back. Just like that. And give it a bit of shape. Just like for two. Very easy. So, let's just Last one. I use the opposite. The first tree we use at the back, but now we're just gonna use the one part up there. Just to separate. But you can also leave it like that, as you see me do here. I just, I just did this. I just curled the tip. Didn't shape it, just curl the tip, you know, and then give it more dimension. There are many, 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 many ways. It really depends what you like, but I would like to show you some techniques that you can apply. For the last layer, uh, actually, because. One, two, and this is one that goes up, right? So I have done this one wrong. This has to go that way. So I have one here. And I'm just going to curl the petal inwards a bit. To give it shape. The same way as we did layer the first layer. There. And that's it.
No. I'm going to use white floral tape. If you're having issue with that, you can use a bit of glue, apply a bit of glue on the strip. The thing is with floral tape, I know I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but for new makers out there, just apply a bit of glue. Apply the end of it there and press. It's called tape, but it won't stick like tape. You have to use pressure with this hand and if you're left with the other hand, of course, press, pull, and really make it tight. You really have to push it tightly, really press tightly, so it will attach to the wire. So you roll a couple of times. There, I'm just going to create this stem that's thick enough. I'll show you in a bit, hold on. And how you know it's thick enough because we'll be using this and shape it like that. And this should like embrace the um, the wire. You now we have to thicken the wire because the wire is really thin. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna create a thick layer here, and then you stop until it's I think it's enough. Yeah, perfect. Okay, maybe one more. So you really can embrace it. If you do it too thin. You're gonna have problems with layering. Really, that it really embraced. Okay. And then, once you found it, just attach it there and hold it here, and hold your tape downwards, and then pressure here, and then attach it secure it just like that. And then you will create kind of a bud. So you can also use floral tape to create your own bud or floral foam, you know, you can do that too. There. And I'm going to get another piece, cut a piece. Yeah, I really would use white at first. You're going to need white, green, and brown for this one. So once that's attached, I'm going to get a new one, there. There's a lot of stuff going on. It can get really confusing easily, so make sure you have everything prepared. Okay. Layer two, layer If you're a beginner, this can be a struggle, but really, it's really easy with some practice. Hold it tight and pull. Press tight. Really use pressure. Really use pressure. I'm not sure we all know how to use pressure. That's one. And then we kind of like to create this triangle. So, two. Find the position first before you attach it. Okay. This will be hard to move because there's if you attach them tight. It's possible, but one, two, three. I'm having a hard time showing this because my wires are so long.
it's in the way. It goes against my chest. And I can't show it or be in camera at least I try. So and now we're just gonna have a look like that and perhaps reposition them. See, that's fine. I should turn out perfect immediately. Layer two. gonna do this offset so I'm gonna fill the gap with this part and then sometimes you'll see it's more curved on the other and just press it offset position it in between the gaps to fill the gaps and sometimes it moves while you're moving but then we position it there and then you can always, as long as it's, hold it tight. And we can always reposition it again later on. Make sure it's the right spot. If you do it tightly, it does move a bit, but at least it's like the right spot. So if you already see when you're attaching that it's not there, do it again and move it back this once it's this one is really hard to do that and when you're having trouble with so many wires just attach them like this and start again so you want it to hold so much and you can let it go Okay, repositioning the flowers. What we're gonna do? I wanna feel the gap, so I'm gonna move a petal. Like, let me show you by putting this back. So I want one petal, as you can see here, this petal to go like. You will see kind of the strip if you're having it super paper transparent. And that also gives it a light like look because the light shows goes through when using sketching paper. You see it? And you won't have that when using cardstock. Which makes it more... Right. So we're gonna... We had this offset. It was exactly between, but I would like to... You see a gap here, right? I'm just going to move it a bit to close the gap. The gaps are okay, so it's like not completely in the center. I'm going to do that for here. So my thing is, my point is using this strip because I can see the strip. So this petal will go against the strip of this one. And two, and then move this. And then the last one as well. There. Now the last three. I'm gonna make a start. Attach that. It really doesn't matter which one you use, just go oh with Just use one. Shape it. Shape that one. And shape this one. Start with this and then again offset. And now offset with this the, la the second layer. Position. Once in position, hold tight here and pull the tape. There. It's one, and then roll it once around so it's attached. There. Two. Uh, 
petal two, layer three. Hold it tight, pull, and roll it one time. Tightly. And again, use pressure so it won't move. Hold it tight, once in position. Hold it tight there. And pull. And roll it around. Yeah, and it's in the way, you just pull them up so you have some space. And there you go. Oh, chips. See how hard I pulled that I just broke. 